vous me trouvez la chambre de la tour, j'ai pas trop compris. Je monte. Faut que je monte si j'ai bien compris. Donc c'est pas par là. Je sais pas ce que c'est dans la chambre de la tour. C'est là Ah bah oui c'est là. Ah, Qu'est-ce que je Je sais plus, j'étais parti sur quoi Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. What is this disc? Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment, but hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says, we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the so mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize her love of riddles there. Jacques Perrault. The door appears to be locked on the other side. I think I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. Open sesame. It's open. Great, honey. Saint Paul painted by Guido Reni. Saint Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? So we have the figure 11 twice underlined. And a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere. And it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with a figure, maybe? St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. Mm -hmm. the paint has been cleaned recently. 
Well, there's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. No, what does that mean? A fragment of amber. A painting of Saint Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. A painting of Saint Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rene. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Mm. It's Saint John, painted by Guido Rene. Guido Rene. Testament. This book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. A volume of the Gutenberg Bible. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Oh, wait, a note from Mother is carefully folded between the pages here. What does it say? Dear E, I'm glad you found this note. I was afraid the code of the two groups of pilgrims would mislead you. Pick up the package. You know where, and hide it where no one will find it. It's imperative. Awaiting your reply, hidden behind the youngest apostle. What? The youngest apostle? What does mother mean by that? There's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? The drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rinne. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rinne. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his Savior. St. Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. A 
Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. No, nothing of value here. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. The sentence in Hebrew. It says, count in the dust. Still Mr. Quisson. All right, Bill. let's do it. There are finger marks deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. That's what the message in Hebrew spoke about. Hebrew 8. Thou hast put all things under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening in the south room where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find oh. new pilgrims near Paul. Several portraits of apostles, Look. all signed by Guido Reni. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says, we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize her love of riddles there. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Okay, super. No, no, it's toujours ici. Chest with the occult symbol representing air. Okay. What? 
there's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Mm -hmm. Grudge not one against another, brethren, oh. lest ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. St. John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. Hey, wait! That means it's him. He's the youngest apostle. Right. This painting is therefore associated with the answer which E had to give to my mother. Now, I just need to know how to recover the answer. Yeah. The painting looks like it's been taken down recently. But wasn't my mother said that she would wait for an answer hidden behind the apostle? Ah, of course. There's something written behind the painting. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies? They should add a companion to their left, and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies? St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? The group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling them prophecies? No.
and ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Now there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. C'est compliqué. Il est contenu sur ses pas. Saint Paul painted by Guido Rini. Of the four apostles shown in this piece, Paul is the only one who isn't an evangelist. He is the thirteenth apostle. Saint Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust. Loose. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? Strange. St. Paul is shown twice, unlike the other disciples. Nothing worth noticing here. A painting of Saint Mark from the collection of the Apostles by Guido Rini. <laughs> it's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. It's Saint John, Pardon. painted by Guido Rini. Saint John is the only apostle painted in this gallery who hasn't got a beard. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? A group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to and now John is telling them prophecies? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Now there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven like a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? A group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, 
And now John is telling them prophecies? Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. painting it says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth what the hell does that mean a drawing of the Apostle Matthew painted by Gita Rini he's represented as writing the word of the Lord transmitted by the Holy Spirit who appears here in the guise of an angel a cash. If we have hope in Christ in this life only, we are, of all men, most miserable. A volume of the Gutenberg Bible. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, uh, and three well. measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt, not the oil and the wine. Saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times, and a half a time, from the face of the serpent. Hey, a new note. It's been folded carefully in the corner of this page. The writing, it, it, it's not my mother's. S. I found the book in your effects. I've concealed it where no one can get their hands on it. I can assure you. Awaiting your instructions, I will hear your reply like he who hears the angel. Here's the angel? What does that mean? Oh, it's probably the place where she was expecting to get the location of the next note. There's 
there's something else behind this painting. It says half of each group will join the first city of Corinth. What the hell does that mean? A drawing of the Apostle Matthew, painted by Gita Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? Now, there is a Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust is built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four.